Hey guys, Chris back here again with another episode of Historic Brawl. Today we're actually going to be checking out our new Ooze base commander. Um, he's not actually an Ooze tribal commander, so we did not build him that way. This is basically a land stack, um, and if you've seen one land stack, you've seen a lot of other land stacks. He's just really kind of cool in the spot because whenever you mill a land, whenever a land put in the graveyard from anywhere really, he gets a plus one plus one counter, and that is a really good way to um just get land. Because when he dies, which when he gets too big, people have to start trying to kill him. You get um I'll keep this. You get three lands from your graveyard back to your hand. So you can use things like utility line like Evolving Wild. Of course, we're actually just going to exile Evolving Wild here. Because it's the worst of our utility lands. And I'd rather have a tropical island. So we're up against the first liver. Um, first liver decks tend to be pretty explosive. So there is just a chance that we get murked here. Although Slogurik, Slogurik, the Overslime, he can be bigger than most uh, most slivers. Mm, that's what I like to see. Just rude. Ugh. So I guess we're gonna be on the ramp plan for a bit. Just hoping to draw a land here soon. Tapped. Tapped. Okay, so that doesn't really help us much. So choose between the two. <sighs> the infinite one one assault. Well, that's awkward for them, isn't it? All right, so we just gotta survive. So our deck is running a pretty, pretty like weird land heavy, um, heavy mana base, which is why one of the things we have is um, what do you call it? I forgot what I was even talking about. Kind of a lot of one of simply because it's in our best interest to have one ofs. Um, we're gonna exile some slivers next turn. Double red too. Our opponent's deck is um is going off. Well, that's unfortunate for us. Back down to the ground. This 
livers will not be allowed to have haste. They had their chromatic lantern, and they could be casting everything in their wildest dreams. Third red source. Lovely. Yeah, I think this is what we got for this turn. Exile 20. Fourth a chump block. So lock. Slow Girk. Looks really cool as a land. Discard a card, draw a card. Our opponent scooped it up. That's a cool sliver. I haven't seen that one before. But, um, yeah. So our deck doesn't run much, um, in the way of removal. That's just one of the side effects of being a heavy value-based plan. Um, it kind of hinges on the fact that, like, we get to the late game earlier, and therefore our our late game cards should be a little bit nicer than our opponents. No, they should come down a little earlier. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, Escape shift is really cool. We do have Field of the Dead in the stack. We should be running uh, snow, la snow Basics as well. Not fully Snow Basics, but like a few Snow Basics. So that... Um, when the time comes... What am I even talking about? Um, so that we have another... So that we have two distinct basic land types on our deck that we can fetch with things like... Solemn and um, man, where's a bad guy? Sure, let's see if they'll trade any stick fingers. I guess they won't. I mean, we have Ugin. Ah, opponent pulls it back. Probably a wise choice. Mm, well, that's unfortunate. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we get escape shift for one land. And suddenly be in business, but I'd rather get Tatiova down. Because then we can just make our next turn insane. Yeah, I think we could still go for the escape shift, honestly. Just the one. Hmm. 
Uh, get me a fabled passage. Did I somehow still fail? Yeah, I did. <sighs> I should have sacrificed two lands. That was my problem. I forgot. I didn't notice my other forest. Eleven to the face. Yes, please. Really? Which is not having luck. Well, actually, we just misplayed. We would have Field of the Dead Online if we hadn't. Decided to take such a wacky line. Right, step one, Ugin. Can't have that poison tip archer staying alive for very much longer. Um, Ramanov excavator. I'll take me a fabled passage. Um, sure of that. Might as well cultivate while we got the time. No attacks in the turn. So that's the only land I don't want to discard. So. Seven, anyways, isn't it? Yo, root. Alrighty then. Welcome back to the field, Field of the Dead. Hello, World Shaper. Let's scribe it. And I think that's all I need to do with my turn. They have a creature in the yard.
resolve. Goodbye, zombie number 12. Attack for 22. So a wrath right now would be very bad. Goodbye zombie number seven. No, I loved you more than number twelve. So we just valued ourselves enough that our opponent decided to scoop in that game. Pretty decent. I do love our new slime commander. He's pretty cool. And I think we're going to end the episode here for today. We ended up getting some pretty big creatures on the board. Lots of value. Lots of mana still left to play with. So I can't say we did too badly here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Remember if you liked the video to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.